guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't done it already please click the subscribe button also when you're done with the watching the video if you liked it drop a like on this video as well it helps out a lot on this channel and it helps me to grow a little bit more okay so thank you very much guys for that also without further ado let's get straight into this okay now i was thinking about this in the month of january and uh, boxing in general has been over the years disrespected um in terms of the wider sporting industry i have no like I, at first i had no idea why okay but having thought about it a bit more i kind of understood and i understood about boxing in terms of the business side and in terms of just general like boxers fights and negotiations and how it all works just a little bit from what i'm hearing in terms of the media etc but it boils down to three reasons as to why boxing in the uk is very very disrespected as a sport okay this some of these reasons i'm not gonna lie will probably apply to the us as well but the us have a different kind of problems as well because they they're structured their structure in boxing is a bit different to how we are okay but without further ado let's get straight into this the number one reason as to why boxing is disrespected really is because of money doesn't generate enough money for the big people or the people who have money or, or the politicians or the people in power to give a damn in a nutshell that is the that is if i had to boil that down to one reason that is the main reason okay the reason why um it's not just regards to just the number in the bank or whatever there's not enough people in terms of billionaires within boxing to kick up a fuss as when they close or they, they do all of this malarkey okay the only people you know the biggest person in the or the biggest uh, company in the uk to kick up a fuss about this whole pandemic situation is probably Matt Trib sport and Matt Trib sport themselves okay they're not as big as let's say manchester city okay or manchester united you think if the football like let's say it's a, if the government were to the close down for a football club you think the owner of manchester united or the owner of manchester city are just going to sit there like it's calm they'll call the government firm and within the space of a week it's back up and running ready to go okay and especially in, in the month of january i'm not sure how uh, last year was a bit different because of the pandemic but football clubs have a lot more power than promoters in boxing point blank period because they have a lot more money simple okay um and another reason why boxing is, is disrespected within the uk the number the number the number two reason um disrespected within the uk and across the world is because of the belts the belts are are causing a hefty problem now there are for those of you guys who don't know you know who have been living in under a rock in boxing there's belt when you win uh, you know when you, you at the top of your division okay now in boxing there's four belts for each division i'm going to tell a lie there's four belt companies within each division and there's like 20 30 belts available on the line okay for example okay in the uk boxing there is the british title the commonwealth title the european belt okay which for me those two are good belts to have because it's th those are like the i will compare them to the fa cup or and the league cup okay those those two belts then you have the the world championship belts afterwards okay now the world championship belts are the biggest problem because there's four belts the four governing four um uh, governed or governing bodies but they're four belt companies shall we say the first all uh, today's the wbt the wba ibf and wbo okay each of those four then some of them have an additional category wbc have a franchise champion a silver champion uh, uh you know a wbc normal regular champion okay a um intercontinental champion bruv and they also have a black lives matter champion a mayan belt champion a diamond belt champion bruv come on fam like there's so much champions like it's 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 all fragmented and it's all confusing the hell out of uh, hell out of the boxing fans 
and ultimately your new consumers in the future okay that's another huge reason now for me if it was up to me i'm gonna be point blank period if it was up to me i would have it all under similar to how the i would just scrap the bills sorry okay because the bills are causing more problems today than it is benefiting in a nutshell you have to be mandatory and the mandatory have you the guys noticed this yet or is it just me the mandatory for some of these bills are some dead guys you know listen these guys here some of the mandatory for some of these some of these fighters here i was thinking fam the mandatory should be the number two the, the, the second best fighter in that division that should be the mandatory okay that, that's in my opinion the mandatory should be let's say an Anthony Joshua his mandatory let's say he had the belt his mandatory should be either Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder his, what, what, why is he tied to, why is his mandatory um, Carlos Takam um, Kubrat Pulev and people like the bruv come on fam like is it, what is this fam yeah his mandatories are like some some any any other per, any other person okay he should be fighting people like Kubrat Pulev on his way up to the champion on his way up to becoming um, um, a, a champion okay a world champion not when he gets there when he gets there he should be only fighting Tyson Fury, uh, Dylan White, um, Deontay Wilder, you know, fighters like that, maybe even a Luis Ortiz. The fact that he's fighting people like Carlos Taikam and Kira Pulev, brother, it just, it, it's, it, it reduced the credibility in terms of boxing in general. I want to be honest with you guys, okay? There should be a UFC style, one, one, side, one sort of belt holder. For me, I would, if I had to choose one of these billions of, 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 of belt, belt companies, I would just choose the IBF. The reason why I would choose the IBF is because the IBF are always on point. They're, they're mandatory, they don't muck about. They say, this is your mandatory, you're gonna get stripped, okay? They, they don't like, you can't pay them off, you know? You can't pay off the person who's a mandatory to take a step aside money. That, that don't exist, okay? You either you're fighting, or you or, or 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 you're losing that belt and if you lose that belt the person who's in second place and in third place they or third ranking they all get to fight that one belt okay that's how it should be okay in terms of the belts okay historically i can understand why some of the promoters and some of the fighters want to fight for those belts particularly the, the wbc because the WBC, Muhammad Ali was fighting for that belt, okay? You know, the Joe Fazers of the world, Cy Lissons fighting for that belt, um, Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, you know, the best, you know, Sugar Ray Robinson. Oh, I don't think Sugar Ray Robinson was, at his time, there was no WBC belt, but Sugar Ray Leonard, I mean, you know, huge, huge fighters, Marv, Mom, you know, Hagler, Hearn, those fighters, they were, they were all competing for or in and around the WBC belt, okay? Now, the, I can understand fighters of the generation, they, they wanna fight for that belt and it makes complete sense. But as a fan, I'm gonna be honest, um, that is all in the past, okay? Just nice and simple, okay? That's all in the past, you know, not every competition has to, let me put it this way, in, back in the 70s, there used to be a football, a European, um, cup winners cup okay we had all of the people who win the domestic cups in, in Europe all the uh, all the clubs all, all, all um, compete in a sort of mega European tournament okay that doesn't exist anymore so in boxing as well that leads me on to the second part as well the boxing boxing people boxing fans boxing media boxing promoters are all stuck in their way they're all stuck in their way i'm telling you this for a fact i've seen some promoters and some managers okay they promote uh, fighters and, uh, and upcoming fights like it was the like it was early 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 90s okay but instead they're just putting on instagram instead of putting a poster yeah on the side of a tube yeah or, or, or putting the poster on on, on a billboard outside and just or outside a tube station okay in London you know if you're living in London or you know on a big bill billboard okay they just put it on their social media pages just leave it there 
you know, and that's it. They don't, it's either they've never even interviewed their fighters, we don't know where the fighters are coming from, their background, their history, where they grew up, what they would do before boxing, none of that. They do, we just know, oh yeah, that guy, that guy, I know him because he fought, or he, you know, he put up a good fight against that guy. That's who you know of them. In the UFC, you know, that a lot of the fighters, you know, their background, they've got like a character attached to them, you know, there's so many platforms they could do a lot of work on. Twitch, TikTok, fam. Literally, football clubs have TikTok accounts. Promoters and boxers don't even know what TikTok is, yeah? In football, there's football games, EA Sports, um, uh, FIFA, you know what I mean? In boxing, there's no boxing game, or final was back in the day, but there's no actual boxing game. There's a UFC game, there's an EA Sports, a uh, FIFA game, but it's no boxing game. You know how crazy it is? Because the people who are who are at the head of boxing are all stuck in their way. They're all like dinosaurs, okay? Old way of the old, old thinkers. And I'm not gonna get too much detail, but I think a lot of the fans get like, understand where I'm coming from, okay? Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Please click the subscribe button. A lot of things coming on the channel as well, so I'm excited, guys. I'm gonna planning on getting a few different faces on the channel, okay? So stay tuned, okay? I'm not gonna mention who, but I can't wait for those things to happen, okay? But peace, love, and prosperity, guys, and I'm gonna catch you guys in a bit. Peace.